It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, today I'm taking a look at another game from the Paco Games line of games. And today it is Taj. As you can see, these games come in these tiny little boxes. They have 30 half cards, half-sized cards in here. And this one, Taj, is a, a voting game. It's a set collection voting game that's very colorful, beautifully uh, done package here. Is the game any good? Let me show you. Here's what the game might look like set up for four players. Each player is going to be given these two voting cards. You get a yay nay and a nix all card. You're going to set up these rugs, set up the Taj Mahal like so. And then you're going to shuffle these cards and everybody gets one. And this tells you how you score. So in this case, you're going to score pink times two, green times one, and yellow actually hurts you. And what you're scoring is what's under the Taj Mahal at the end of the game. And so in this case, every card, as you can see here, has three parts. There's a one, a one value part around the outside, a value two section, and then a value three section in the very center. And so if this player had this card, and this is exactly how the game ended, then we would score pink times two, meaning one, two, three, that plus one makes every section here plus one. So again, one, two, three, four times two is eight. We would score green times one, and there's just this one. So one, and that's uh, nine points, right? Uh, one, two, three, four times two, eight, one, nine. And then the yellow would be negative. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's pretty bad. We would get three points because the, the yellow is negative, okay? But that's basically how the game works. So again, we shuffle these up and every player gets one of these secretly. And so we're gonna do that. And then you're ready to begin. On a turn, each player is going to propose a swap of two rugs. And the way you do that is very simple. Let's say I am first. I am going to look at my card. It looks like I want some blue in there. I am going to propose that we swap this card and this card. Let me look again. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so that's my proposal. And now we all vote simultaneously with these two cards. If the majority of the players vote yay, then we are going to switch these two rugs. So we would do, assuming, let's say three of us say yay, that player says nay then we are going to take this one out of here, take this one out of here, and switch them. And when you do, when you switch them, or even if you don't switch them, then you have to flip them so that the eye is facing up, because that's one of the ways that the end game can be triggered if they all have that eye facing up. And so whenever you manipulate one or even attempt it to do it, you make sure you mark it by doing that. If the majority of the players voted nay, so let's take this back here. Let's say again, this was here, this was here. I proposed these two, and let's say I was the only one who voted yay, everybody else voted nay. Then the cards again get flipped, but they stay. And I must also discard the rug farthest from the Taj Mahal. In this case, this rug is four away, so it is out of the game. If two rugs are the same distance, as in this case after I've removed one, then you can pick whichever one, you know, you can pick which one goes away when that happens. The other possibility here is a unanimous vote or yay or of yay or nay. And when that happens, everybody votes yay or everybody votes nay, there has to be an additional adjustment besides the ones I already told you about. And what they require uh, the player to do is either shift the Taj Mahal one space one way or one space the other way or flip it so that the plus one is on the other side as you can see here okay so again if it's a unanimous vote then that happens how do you get a unanimous vote well obviously everybody votes yay or nay but the other way is by using 
your Nix and All card here. You cannot use this card if you are the one who made the proposal for switching rugs, but if anybody else uses it, a Nix makes everybody's vote a no, and an All makes everybody everybody's vote a yes. If multiple people use one, then the first one after the player who proposed the switch is the one that activates, and you can use this once per game. Once you've used it, it's out of the game, and that's it. You continue playing and doing these manipulations of the rugs until either all the cards are facing up with that, that eye symbol is up, or there are only five rugs still in play. Once that happens, then you score, like I showed you, based on the, on the card you were given. Oh, this one. And then whoever has the highest score, taking into account the plus one, adding plus one to every section in that rug. So instead of being a one, two, and three of those colors, it's two, three, and four of those colors. Then the highest score is the winner of the game. The first thing I'll say is that Taj, I've been ranking all these games from one being my favorite to eight being my least favorite. And there's eight games in the series. Taj is my number six, but I don't think it's a bad game. That's how good this series of games is. Taj is a solid voting game. It's a little fiddly, as in there's a couple of rules in there that I wish were a little more streamlined, but they make for a better game, so I'm all right with that. The voting is interesting. You can have a lot of ties sometimes, and if, if a tie happens, then nothing happens. I forgot to mention that in the overview, but, you know, nothing happens. Um, you just flip the cards, that's it. But it's it's a cute game. It's got it's got some interesting ideas in there. I love the whole idea of voting to switch the rugs, having your scoring card, and knowing what you need. Yeah, sometimes you'll line up with someone else, and so you could have a, a game where if two people are going for the same color, then they might overwhelm the other players, but still really interesting. I like how the uh, the rugs will dwindle in the game. Just clever, clever design. Chris Handy is just a, a really brilliant, has a really brilliant mind for clever ideas. And this tiny little game has a few in there of clever, clever, neat ideas. And so Taj, as I said, is my number six, but I do not dislike it. I think it's a neat game. It's uh, not a game I'm going to play all the time, but for a filler that still has interesting choices and a, a little bit of a bite to it, then this is a good one. Taj, if you like voting games, if you like colorful games, you got to check this one out. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.